Hello, hello, great 12. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, Uabutiwa Sos Ukobela Wemet. And without any further ado, let's look at this question that we have here. Okay, so we have question nine on proving proportionality theorem. It says in the diagram, ABC is a triangle. D and E are points on sides A, B, and A, C, respectively, such that D, E is parallel to B, C. Then we can see the diagram here below. They say use the diagram above to prove the theorem, which states that a line drawn parallel to the side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. That is to say, prove that A, D over D, B is equal to A, E over E, C. So now the first thing that you want to do when you want to prove that is uh, you're going to first start constructing perpendicular heights from point D all the way to base AE. And then you're going to construct another perpendicular height from point E all the way to a uh, base AD, right? And then uh, furthermore, you will have to join line BE and then also join points a uh, dc so like that and then this becomes your construction then uh, since those ones are constructed perpendicular height you would have to name them so let's name uh, this constructed perpendicular height here k and then let's name the other one h so at this point we say we are good to go but then we also need to tell them what we did. So you need to tell them join. So as part of construction, so you will say on construction, uh, construction, join BE and DC and draw perpendicular heights. So and draw perpendicular heights h and k right so you need to tell them what you did as part of your construction so you joined a b e and dc and also through perpendicular heights h and k right now this point we are now ready to prove so we want to write proof and then start with our proof right so now our proof uh, we start by saying the area of triangle ADE over the area of triangle. So we're going to be looking at this triangle here. So we are looking at ADE, this whole uh, triangle here, and then also looking at triangle BDE. So this is our triangle BDE. But then if you can look at triangle BDE, we can see that it kind of resembles a triangle that is like this here. So we know that a triangle like this here, if we were to calculate its area, then uh, using area is equals to half base times height. We know that the height would have to be a constructed height here. So the height would have to be starting from the apex here and then all the way to the Base where the uh, triangle is grounded. So when we are looking at this here, we can see a similar situation here, whereby if we can look at DB being the base, we can see that our constructed perpendicular height would be height H, right? So I want you to look at that. Then uh, remember, these are perpendicular heights. So let's indicate that, that we have 90 and then also here 90. Right, so perpendicular height. Then obviously from here we can see that this perpendicular height H here would be the height of a triangle BDE, but then as well it will be the height of triangle ADE. If we are looking at it from this side and then we say that the base is uh, AD. So therefore in trying to calculate this, let's now say uh, for triangle BDE, this is what we're going to have for area of triangle ADE, half base times height. This is half 
our base for this triangle here looking at it from this uh, view here from this perspective would have to be ad but then our height would have to be height h so this is multiplied by h then we have over half our base for this triangle bde is a uh, bd but then our height is this perpendicular height as well h so we have h now at this point we know what must happen the half and half will divide and then the h and h will divide so that means our solution there should be equals to ad over bd right and then now let's look at another ratio we have we take the area of triangle ade over the area of triangle this time of triangle uh, let's check triangle dec so we are now looking at it from this perspective here from this side here dec right and then if in our a b a d e we are now looking at it from this side so that means uh, we will have this area of dec and then this will be equals to half and then we have our base from this side here ae but then our height would be height k the constructed perpendicular height then over half the base here will obviously be ec and then we have the k now as we are doing this we are looking at what we are trying to prove here so we are trying to prove ad over db so let's just uh, find a way to write this one remember bd can also be written as db so that's not a chain smash so we can just write this one as db so that it corresponds to whatever that we are trying to prove here now obviously at this point this half will divide with that half the k will divide with that k and then we are left with ae over ec right now at this point we can say the area of triangle ade must be exactly the same as the area of triangle ade because in both of these cases we used the same triangle so this is a common triangle but when it comes to the area of triangle dec being equal to the area so let's say area of triangle uh, bde the area of triangle bde being equal to the area of triangle dec then this is because they share the same base the same height and then also they are within the same parallel lines so being de parallel to what to bc so if you can look at these two triangles they do have the same base they do have the same height and then they lie within the same parallel lines which is de parallel to what to bc right and then now at this point what we can say now is that uh, the area of triangle ade over the area of triangle bde is equal to the area of triangle ade over the area of triangle dec now remember we did find the solution for this one it was ad over db so that means it's ad over db being equal to and uh, we did find the solution for this one it's ae over ec as soon as you know it this is what you were trying to prove right so you have proven that ad over db is equal to ae over ec which supports the theorem that says a uh, a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle will divide the other two sides 
proportional. So the line drawn parallel was the line DE. It was drawn parallel to line BC. And then what did it do? It divided this two other side into equal proportion. So uh, resulting in AD over DB being in the same ratio as AE over EC. Right. And that's how you go about uh, proving that one. So uh, stay in tune for more of a uh, the videos on proving theorems so this is one of the theorems that you have to check out proving proportionality theorem in grade 12 it is much more likely to come out so make sure that you repeat this video as many times as possible just try to figure out how i went about uh, answering that question there and then make sure that you master it